Hello and welcome back to Residenza Toscana. My name is Marisa Barilaro Sherrington and today I have the absolute honour and great privilege to show you a wonderful property here in the vicinity of Palaia in Tuscany. It's a wonderful privately owned villa that does run as a very, very high level business, rental business, but it be, could be used as that business or it could be used as a personal home. Now, I was asked to film this beautiful property and its extensive grounds by the current owner. I am not a go-between, nor an, am I a real estate agent. So please, if you enjoy this film and you are interested in the villa, please contact me via the email address that you'll find in the description of the video and I will pass your information on to the owner so that they can be in direct contact with you and discuss all of the details. Therefore, in this video, there won't be a price at the end or in the description as the vendor has requested for me to leave that out. She wants to deal with each person on a private level. So if you'd like to make comments, I'd love to answer them for you. I do have quite a lot of information on the villa additional things that perhaps don't appear in it, but for anything else, you will be put in contact directly with the vendor. Thank you so much for joining me again today, and I hope you enjoy this absolutely stunning property. Now let's go for a tour. front view here up to the top just so you can get an idea so a thousand year old building we're looking at all the history and the stories that could be told so this is the main front door that I'm just going through now and into straight away the beautiful dining room the kitchen is off to the right and I'll show you that after but as you can see, really, really beautiful Tuscan ceilings and lovely terracotta floors and beautiful um, brick arches leading to either side to the different rooms. And it is sold exactly as it is. So all the beautiful furnishings, as you can see, they're really, really beautiful quality. Um, just little details in each room. There we have it and music. Look at that, looking out to those incredible views and down to your swimming pool which I'll show you after. Just a quick update on this beautiful dining area. Um, it is olive wood throughout so these are all beautifully made pieces from local olive wood which olive wood pieces are very costly as you can see they're absolutely stunning pieces and as well as the light fitting there. Directly off that lovely lounge we have one of the first bedrooms here which as you can see is a queen size bedroom and it's lovely to have a ground floor room that is somewhere really easy for someone it could be for a young person or even an older person or someone that just wants to be on that ground floor level so again it has really lovely modern lighting fixtures some lovely art the wardrobes in each room have been made to measure especially by a local artist and artisan so everything is hand sculpted that's all hand sculpted timbers that have had a paint finish done on them i'll go around here so you can see and every piece of furniture is actually a designer piece or something that has been made by an artisan some lovely stonewall effect there back to the lovely doors looking straight outside and there's the front of that wardrobe, which is very groovy. I really like it. You have the television up on the wall there. Lots of, of course, central heating throughout. Lots of lovely little details. So we have a bathroom here on the first level and with a shower, so a shower room, toilet bidet, all beautifully set up of course, and then another doorway out to another level outside. The room is actually straight off the kitchen. So here we come back into the kitchen, which as you can see is very sleek, very modern, beautiful finishes, a lovely little sit-up bar where we just had coffee, 
television on the wall up there, really lovely lighting, incorporated refrigerators and ovens over here, another little sitting spot and lovely doors outside. That is the bathroom I just went out to and that is the other seating area outside under the shade. There we go. So this staircase leading upstairs is actually like a piece of artwork with the original walls behind and as you can see beautifully lit up and it goes up two levels above me. Absolutely stunning. I'm out on the first floor balcony covered lodger and look at these incredible views. Oh my goodness. Straight down onto the beautiful swimming pool where I'll take you after, but just the mag mas magnificent distant views of villages on hilltops, incredible vineyards and orchards and everything you want. Um, so I'm on a, a lodger that has a staircase coming straight up from the pool or the cupboard area downstairs. And then I'll take you inside now. And we go straight into this beautiful, lounging area here which is really cool and gorgeous with high ceilings the original fireplace it's just beautiful so that's original so it'd be many hundreds of years old totally restored of course and then first bedroom off here another really gorgeous elegant bedroom i'll just walk in there for you and it has, again, one of those wonderful wardrobes that were specifically made for each room. Incredible modern lighting again. TV, of course, in each room. Again, we come out. So this was built because it's a thousand year old home. They're not like a suite or a hotel room where each one has a bathroom. Each level has a bathroom but it is rented out usually to families or couples or that might come with a friend so therefore um, their clientele that they have are always incredibly happy they do incredibly well with their rentals beautifully appointed as you can see modern but really sympathetic beautiful styling really simple but elegant and it just marries so well with the beautiful Tuscan architecture so I'll just come around and go into that last room. <laughs> Love the chair. Very Picasso-esque chair there. So this is the level, on this level here, this is our bathroom. You have a large storage area in here. And then you have this beautiful shower room. Love the color scheme. One of the largest rain heads I think I've ever seen. Beautiful marble tiling. And just some of the detailing there and then looking back out and that's the staircase we came up before which will continue up to into the tower. I'm now on the top level of the tower and look at this incredible vista once again all the way down to the pool. Oh it's like being Rapunzel honestly. <laughs> So you have this sweet as pie tower room with the original wardrobe from hundreds of years ago that they found in here, which was restored. This beautiful glass modern entrance that they've made to keep it all light into the light well. A gorgeous little ensuite, which I will show you. I'll just push that window because it's hot outside today. There we go. Close that for them. And let me just take you quickly into the ensuite bathroom. Of course, air conditioning throughout. Lovely little ensuite, beautifully appointed again. Everything is just very simple, but really high quality, elegant, beautifully appointed. Even the, the bidets, toilets and sinks are just wonderful styling. Lovely little clothes, glass um, shower. And that's a view out to where we came into the house. It's at the front. So there we go. That's the top level bedroom and bathroom. And just for you to get a vista down this beautiful stairwell with these glassed walls as well. Quite amazing. Beautiful high ceilings. It really has the most beautiful feel to it. Just to show you a few of the stairs going down. So that's back to that middle level. And then we would be going then back down to the lower level where the kitchen and dining area was. I've just come out of there, which was the kitchen under this beautiful lodger. You can just imagine what this would be like in the evening. It's stunning. These beautiful stone pieces come a very ancient, coming from the vineyards. It's a special thing called a bocca di Utini. These, you can just imagine the weight in these beautiful pieces here. 
It's all lit up at night and has sound systems out here. The big barbecue area, which is gorgeous over there. This is the entrance of the house. Behind me is that doorway going inside. And then down beyond, we have the pool. Some of the details and the things that are being left behind, the value of them is incredible because even all these beautiful things that were made, and there are jars here outside the house that I'll show you after that are worth thousands because they're from the 1800s, those beautiful archies. So really, really valuable pieces that will be left behind. Even down to this detail here of this lovely little seating spot where the owner has reclaimed a really beautiful old olive press stone and built it on top of this to create a table. Just another really gorgeous detail in the garden. And the music and the pool are now beckoning us, so let's make our way down there. Just so you understand, this is a rainwater well. So they water all the plants from this rainwater well. So that's, that's why there's hoses and things set up there. Here we go down to this beautiful pool, which has these gorgeous stone steps leading the whole way down. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous, loads of room to have lots and lots of friends or people lying around the pool. Beautifully tiled. Really gorgeous pool, lovely shape. Another lovely pergola area over here with a bar and more seating under the shade, more sun seating beyond, more tables beyond. You've got loads of space to have a beautiful party the whole way around there. Really fantastic. They do hold weddings here, so it would be wonderful for that. Gorgeous planting. You can see it's so beautifully kept. Down beyond, you've got more gorgeous olive groves in the countryside, Bougainvillea, and then just if we swim, swim, <laughs> I've got swimming on the brain, swing back around again. And the whole time you're at this pool area, oh my goodness, look at these wonderful, wonderful surrounds. It really is quite extraordinary, beautiful, beautiful property and so beautifully kept, absolutely stunning little sort of stage area there almost isn't it that would be the pumps and things under there I can see the power and a lovely hammock here you have an outdoor shower by the pool as well there we go just a bit of a close-up for you of these beautiful 1800 orchi that I was talking about Ferdinand Chopi 1874 my goodness absolutely beautiful it's a piece of history for you and they've got several of those hanging around in different spots and I'm just taking you to the front here of the house because you have the original wood burning oven or pizza oven as we love to call them but um incredible condition they've got their oil and things ready there for making pizza works perfectly beautiful metal door that closes it off so this is under this lovely little cupboard area here just in front of the house just above that seating area outdoor gym area which is covered just at the moment for the sun but um they have great big square umbrellas that totally put that into the shade and it's right next to the laundry i'll just show you the laundry just in the outside laundry which you can see is the hub of all the pump plumbing and electronics and everything else heating systems etc so you've got your, oops, the door's going to close on me, that's all right. And that's straight out from the house, so nice and easy. Look at that blue sky, beautiful side view of the house and where we park. So you've got ample parking and there's more down the side and actually there's loads of places to park cars, so that's not a problem. You've got a staircase going up to this beautiful old, what they call fenile which was one of the really, really old original barns. They already have plans in to totally restructure that. So that's something you could do as well if you wanted to do that. She was going to do either another accommodation or even a spa area. And just to show you back at the front where we parked our cars and the outside of the building there. <laughs> 